Today I'm going to Kyoto for three days from Tokyo. Even though the capital city of Japan is now in Tokyo, Kyoto has become a place where you can experience a rich history of 1,200 years as an old capital. When you get off the Shinkansen at Kyoto Station, imagining beautiful Zen gardens and temples, you may be a little surprised by the sight of large modern station buildings and office buildings around. Kyoto is a city millions of people live. But don't worry. Although Kyoto is a big city, it's surrounded by the mountains and blessed with nature. Just a short trip from the city center, and you are lost in the otherworldly silence in no time. Kyoto is a popular destination for both Japanese and foreign tourists, but I actually find it a little difficult to explore the city. The subway doesn't have much connection to tourist spots, and the train stations aren't well connected. Here, more than any other cities in Japan, you will rely on the buses and taxis. I always underestimate the time it takes to sightseeing in Kyoto and end up rushing to Kyoto Station to catch the Shinkansen back to Tokyo. I think there are two reasons for that. One is buses and taxis take longer than trains, and it's hard to read the time. Another one is, I forget about the time because the temple and the streets are too attractive. So today, I'd like to tell you about the charm of Kyoto through my trip footage, and also talk about how to get around Kyoto. So you can do the same as me, or the better than me. So now, let's head to Kyoto. Kyoto is located in the Kansai region of Japan, northeast of Osaka. From Tokyo, the most common route is Shinkansen, and it's the fastest and easiest since it takes you to Kyoto Station in 2 hours and 40 minutes by Nozomi. You can also use airplane to two airports of Osaka. From Kansai Airport, you can use JR train Haruka. It directly takes you to Kyoto, so even if you have JR pass or not, this is a great choice. It takes 1 hour and 20 minutes and 3,230 yen. Airport buses is also connecting Kansai Airport to Kyoto Station, and the bus runs about every 1 hour and a little less than that. The price is 2,800 yen, and it takes about 1 hour and 28 minutes to Kyoto Station. From Itami, bus runs every 20 to 30 minutes directly to Kyoto Station. It takes 1 hour from the airport to Kyoto Station, and the price is 1,340 yen. From Osaka, there are four major ways to go to Kyoto. But the best transportation for you depends on where you are in Osaka and where you want to go in Kyoto. Shinkansen is connecting Shin Osaka Station and Kyoto Station. It takes only 14 minutes. In case you have JR Pass, you can use Shinkansen Hikari or Kodama. So if you have JR Pass valid, you can use this Shinkansen, but otherwise, you can use regular train. From Osaka Station, you can use JR's Shin Kaisoku. It runs every 15 minutes or so, and it stops only two stations before arriving Kyoto. It takes 28 minutes from Osaka Station to Kyoto Station, and 570 yen. Other trains are private lines. Hankyu is connecting Osaka's Umeda Station and Kyoto's Kawaramachi Station in 42 minutes. So it takes more time than JR, but Hankyu's line's Umeda Station is located right in front of JR Osaka Station, and Kawaramachi Station is located in the heart of Kyoto. Since you can walk to the major tourist destination of Kyoto from Kawaramachi Station, that's the advantage of taking Hankyu. For the tourist area of Kyoto, I'll explain after this. The last one, Keihan, is more convenient depends on where you go in Kyoto. It leaves from the Yodoyabashi Station of Osaka, and it takes you to the station in the east bank of Kamogawa River in Kyoto, where many tourist destinations gather. From Yodoyabashi to Gion Shijo Station, it takes about 47 minutes and 420 yen. On the first floor of the Kyoto Station on Karasuma side, there is a JR counter that is specially for international tourists. So if you want to make some reservation or ask questions, this is the place to go. Both sides of the station has plenty of coin lockers, so if you're leaving from Kyoto Station later in the day, it might be a good idea to drop by the station and keep your suitcases after you check out the hotels. This is the first floor of Kyoto Station on Shinkansen side. Which is, which is called the Hachijo exit. So I'm leaving from Kyoto Station this evening. 
So, and I'd like to look around the Kyoto city, so I put all the luggage here all now. And now I'd like to head to other part of Kyoto. But this one, IC card system one, is you just touch IC card and you can pay with the IC card and you don't have to carry the key. So it's getting more common now. On Karasuma exit side, they are in the basement. They also have a counter with person and they can even ship your bags to your hotels when you arrive. Now that you are in Kyoto by transportation you chose, let me explain the major area and attractions of Kyoto and where they are in the map. The city of Kyoto is surrounded by mountains and Kyoto station is rather a south side of city center. Shinkansen will arrive here and around the Kyoto station you see many hotel choices. The city center of Kyoto is around this Kyoto Kawaramachi station on Hankyu line. Kawaramachi area is located a little more north of Kyoto station. It says it takes 30 minutes on Google map. Probably takes more if we walk. This is the center of Kyoto and you see department stores and many stores for local residents. It has Nishiki market and dining alley of Pontocho and it's a fun place for shopping and dining out in Kyoto. Across the river on the east side, there is the Gion Shijo station of Keihan. And major trade spots that you might have seen pictures are from this city center to the mountain on the east side, called Higashiyama. There is a famous pagoda of Hokanji Temple and the Kiyomizu Temple, which is famous for the stage overlooking the city. So if you don't have time and see the only area for the first time visit to Kyoto, probably this will be where you want to go. Except the famous Kiyomizu temple, there are a lot more to see. You might be surprised how many small beautiful sites are hidden among major spots. This whole area is a walkable area, but it can be a long walk with some up and down too. So make sure you have comfortable shoes. The next must visit area in Kyoto is Arashiyama. On the both sides of the river, there are many temples and things to see. Arashiyama is also famous for bamboo forest and truck trains. It has more feel of laid-back nature comparing with Higashiyama. Both Higashiyama and Arashiyama areas are good for tourists because once you arrive in the areas, you can walk around and explore. There are tons of places to see just in these areas. And Kyoto has a lot more place to see, especially along the mountain that is surrounding the city. Probably the most popular site for international tourists are Fushimi Inari Shrine. The almost endless lasting red tori gates are often seen as a symbol of Kyoto's destination. The Fushimi Inari is very easy to access from either Kyoto station or Kyoto city center. When you want to see more variety of different charms of temples, the famous three temples of Kyoto, Kinkakuji, Ryoanji, and Ninaji are located in the northwest of Kyoto city center. To this area, the easiest way to visit is by the bus or the taxi. And along the mountain on the east, there are Nanzenji temples and Kinkakuji temple. Between these temples, there are a path called Philosopher's Path, Tetsugaku no Michi in Japanese, and it's a nice path along the small river. There are tons of more places to see in Kyoto, and what I mentioned here is just some well-known one. Now that you understand the basic map of Kyoto, let's get around the city. In Kyoto, you can get around by trains or buses to get to your destinations. Kyoto has four bus companies. Kyoto City Bus, Kyoto Bus, Keihan Bus, and JR Bus. Probably, the bus you use the most is Kyoto City Bus. It might help to get some map printed out or get at the tourism information center in the station. In Kyoto, you get on the bus from the door behind and get off from the front. So you pay after. In Tokyo, you pay when you get on from the front door and get off behind. So it's different. The bus ride in the city is flat rate for 230 yen in Kyoto. And one day pass is 700 yen. So if you ride more than four times, it's better to get one day pass. 
in front of the Kyoto station, there is a machine that sells the day pass. When you get on the bus first and get off with one day pass, insert the card into the machine, and the date you use will be stamped. You can also purchase the one day pass from the driver. Otherwise, you can get off with IC card. You can use the IC card in Kansai area, or you can also use the one you get in Tokyo, such as Suika or Pasmo. You can pay with cash too. When you are tired of walking after sightseeing, you don't even want to think about how to get back to the hotel. In that kind of case, I recommend you to get taxi. Now let's see where is a good area to stay in Kyoto. Kyoto has plenty of hotels to stay, and new hotels are opening every year. The hotels are spread all over the city, but the area you see a lot of hotels are around the Kyoto station. The great benefit of having a hotel near Kyoto station is when you arrive in Kyoto, you can easily drop by and leave your luggage. My favorite area to stay is either Kawaramachi or Higashiyama area. The merit of having a hotel in this area is you can walk to the all the major sightseeing spots, and also you have plenty of place to eat. Within the walking distance. If you like to walk around the city after dark, it's a fun place to stay. If you stay in this area, I recommend you to have a morning walk up along the Kamogawa River. Kyoto is a little difficult to get around for me, especially when you don't have time because sometimes it takes time. For waiting for the bus to walk to the bus stop, and once you get on the bus, it might take time a little bit for people getting on and off. So always better to have some extra time. You might not be able to see everything you want to see in time. So probably it's a good idea to pick two or three spots you definitely want to go, and put some others up as an option. And you can go if you have time left. Or if you have any, your energy left, because you need lots of walking, and you might end up something eating something just randomly on the street or something. But、uh, I think it's important thing is not to be too down that you can eat what you wanted, or you ended up eating kind of touristy place or something. It happens, so just move on to the next. Since I couldn't put everything in this video, I'll post another video about Kyoto. Kyoto has so many attractions and hard to decide what to do, but I hope this video could give you an image of how to get around Kyoto when you visit there someday for the first time. Thank you for watching. Have a great week. Until the next video.